Hello everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome to my tutorials. Now today video is, is all about the bar bending numericals. Okay, so yeah, please, please visit my website civilnotes.com listed here. So first of all, my friends, basic concepts are always important for solving any numericals. Okay, so for solving the bar bending, there is a importance to determine. There is importance for determination of the length of main bars, length of bent up bar, length of stirrups. Okay, so here are the formulas which is important to calculate the length of main bar. Okay, to calculate the length of main bar, the 180 degree bend or 90 degree bend, this bend are important. Okay, if there is a 180 degree bend, then the value is changes of 951 anchor. If it is 90 degree, then it's to be 65. Okay, the both addition of both is 185. Addition of both of 66 is 12 5. so the length of the main bar is always total length minus cover total length minus cover that's plus with 18 you have to add just only this the value of this the length of this board okay so 18 5 12 5 okay if it is 180 then 18 if it's 90 degree then 12 bar okay now length of bent up bar length of bent up bar is very easy here is d is important d is calculated as by subtracting the upper and bottom clear cover okay so d capital d minus clear cover is equals to small d okay that means total depth minus cover equals to small d and the length of the bent up bar is given by total length minus cover plus 0.42 which is extra length plus 18.5 18.5 is this this diameter this size which i have not listed in this diagram okay next length of stirrup in length of stirrup stirrup length and number of stirrup requirement are very important so length of stirrup is calculated by this formula 2 into a plus b a plus b means the only stirrup length at uppermost side and um, b is a depth of the stirrup plus 24 into 5 the number of stirrup is far calculated by total length minus 2 into cover upon spacing of the clear uh, spacing of the stirrup plus 1 okay then these all are formulae are implemented in a numerical let's uh, in some time we solve the numerical then you can understand how to use all this formula okay but these properties are very important these are the minimum uh, clear cover provided for rcc slab 15 mm minimum cover is required for slab beam is 25 mm minimum cover required for a column 40 mm minimum cover required and for putting is 50 mm minimum cover required okay so keep watching and keep learning this is my channel because my channel is very important for the civil engineers okay so now my <clears throat> now we let's start the numerical or one bending okay so my friend here is a numerical an rcc beam of 300 wide and 450 deep that means 300 by 450 and length of 5000 mm is reinforced with four numbers of 12 mm bar placed in a one row out of four two bars are straight and two bars are bent up respectively remember in addition to this two anchor bars of 10 mm diameter are provided at the top 6 mm fire stirrup are provided at the 150 center to center the overall cover provided to the beam is 25 mm calculate the total quantity of the steel and also prepare the bar bending schedule the all things which is listed in the fire numerical is simply diagrammatically shown here okay 300 by 450 two anchor bars of 12 mm diameter 6 mm diameter 6 mm length of stirrup of 150 mm center to center two main bar two bent up bar having 12 mm diameter both okay length is uh, 5 meter b is 300 depth is 450 now you have to just calculate the length of straight bar first okay length of straight bar l minus total length minus 2 into cover plus 18 into 5 this one bent up bar length minus 2 into cover plus 18 5 plus 0.42 into 2 okay so you get this one anchor bar that means topmost bar which is used to anchor the main bar and stir up uh, sorry stir up only l minus 2 into cover plus 18 5 you get the anchor bar length also then stir up length 2 into a plus b that means 250 plus 400 plus 24 into 5 and number of stir up that means total length minus 2 into cover upon 150 plus 1 okay so you get length of number of stirrups also 
so these are very important factor which is used to determine the weight of the steel required for the this particular beam okay now my friends this bar bending schedule is a final output okay you know how many uh, straight bent up bar anchor bar stir up are used in this numerical number of bar st straight are 2 bent up bar are 2 anchor bar are 2 and stir up are 34 we calculate also we know the what is the diameter of the stir up length and bent up bar and anchor bar are used in the numerical also you have to you just calculate this value we are now up to this length now we have to proceed further for this one okay so we have to calculate total length of the length bar this is only one one length uh, one is the length of only one straight bar okay so you, there are two straight bar are used so multiply this by two so you get total length of straight bar similarly this is all about the stirrups anchor bar bent up bar okay now you have to calculate a weight of one meter length okay for that the formula is used five square upon 162 okay so five square meter diameter square 12 square upon 162 so you guess the weight of one meter length okay of straight bar weight of one meter length of the bent up bar one meter length of the anchor bar and stirrup okay so now you have to determine you want to determine the total length so the length of one meter bar multiplied by total length so you get the total weight of the length okay so this one of straight bar bent up bar anchor and stirrup so adding both you get the total weight of the steel required in the particular beam okay so by calculating this value you can you can make the beam construction economical okay there is no any wastage of the steel cutting because you know what is exactly the steel required for the construction of beam what is the dimension what is the size required and up to this the construction is get to be uh, economical and as a civil engineer at a site you have to know about all these things so this is a very important factor which is used during the calculation of the during sorry uh, what i am saying during the at at site okay so this is the final output okay so please visit my website civilnotes.com which is very helpful for civil engineer and always be happy keep watching keep learning